Who do you think you are? Season 7, week 9, and after this week there are only two games left before the league splits. This week we saw 37 goals in total and some unexpected results. As always, the football was top quality and here are the highlights. First up, we have JJGK and TSCI. These two teams will be fighting to get into gold tier. TSCI are 6th with 12 points and JJGK are 7th with 11 points. Both teams are evenly matched and have had similar seasons so far. JJGK were unlucky last week against Gladiators but are high in confidence. TSCI are in great form and will be looking to make it three wins in a row. The first half showed just how closely matched these teams are, with both having chances and some good football was being played, and it was a surprise that it was goalless at half time. Second half and it just had to happen again. Abdul Rashid scores another beauter, beating his man, rounding the keeper and with quick feet, making it 1-0. <laughs> We've done it again! Did you get that? Did you get that? Did you get that? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Rush! That's amazing! <laughs> This guy just wants to win the goal of the month for April. I think I'm just going to give it to him and call it a day.
CSCI were on top and looking for a second goal, but the game changed with 10 minutes to go when JGGK were awarded a penalty for this slide tackle. There was no complaint from TSCI. Shaggy stepped up and made it 1-1. Waxy got a touch but couldn't keep it out. And just a few minutes later, Mahe scored with a screamer and JJGK had turned this game around. Great goal, it looks even better from behind the net. TSCI was shocked and JGGK kept going and scored a third when man of the match Shaga beat Waxy from a tight angle. The game ended 3-1 and this was a big victory for JJGK who go above TSCI in the league. TSCI will be kicking themselves that they didn't hold on to a lead and they must now win their next two games. JGGK didn't give up and the last 10 minutes saw them turn on a 1-0 deficit to win 3-1. That shows great team spirit and Tash was so proud of his boys after the game. What phone? I phone the Tash, yes, Captain, bro. how proud are you of your boys today? I'm absolutely over the moon. Uh, one of our best team performances. We ain't know we're coming up, inshallah. Hopefully. Watch out for the screamer! Two, 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 two victories, two victories, inshallah. We'll be there, goal today. So, what happened in the uh, first half was a bit equal. Yeah. You know, second half, both teams went for it. We just scored two quick goals, didn't we? And you can't, you know. But you came from behind, there's only 10 minutes left and you scored three. How, that's, that's, that's our spirit, innit? We're never, never going to give up, you know that. Never going to yeah. give up. Yeah. Well, we'll see you soon. We flicked up with the ball, just had to bounce on the ball and um, scored a good goal, yeah, from a tight angle. And how's your performances over the past few weeks? They've been good, they've been good. Um, yeah, I'm adapting to this new surface. I don't mind with playing this surface, but yeah, I'm playing well. And it seems that you made a big difference with this JJGK side. Do you think you can go on to goal tier now? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, well, I like to take responsibility as the, as the goal scorer, so, so yeah. Uh, one more question. Shaggy, why the nickname? Uh, it was because I had long hair and uh, just looked like Shaggy out of Scooby Doo. <laughs> Finest in Galacticals next. Finest haven't picked up any points in their last four games, and last week's defeat against Dream Team was disappointing. They really need to get back on track as they have slipped down to 8th in the league. Galacticos on the other hand are full of confidence, haven't lost since the opening day. They are well in the mix for goal tier and have some players back from injury this week. I do boom bap, don't do cool rap. Don't mind a little radio on my goon rap. We do it for the love. Yeah, the love of money. Use it to pay for food, so don't go hungry. Do trips to the Caribbean, do skiing. Don't mind me. Just do it so free. Want the good life? Don't delay. I put on tomorrow what I can do today. Hey, yo, been there, done that, murder. Dayub was actually causing a few problems for Finest, but didn't get that goal scoring chance that he would have wished for. Finest then took the lead with his wonderfully placed shot. The goal gave Finest some confidence and then they got another soon after when Yusuf scored his second and was on a hat-trick.
The last kick of the half saw Finis make it 3 0. The goalie nor the defender on the line could stop this from finding the top corner. This was probably the best half of football Finis have played this season and against the top side too. Firearms. I don't carry that security with guns for higher arms. What I will do is smile my own. If it ain't my concern, I'll leave it alone. Unless it's a fly girl, then I do the right thing. Make it a night thing. And if she don't refrain from the choo choo trains, we'll let it all hang as she do. I do a lot of things that don't make sense. What I don't do is ride the fence. Hence the reason for the season of the haters who jump on stage and get bathed in tomatoes. To the mic that we use the clash in comparison to us of the MC's trash. Don't got the skills, don't pursue it. It ain't nobody else's fault, so don't do it. Free. Second half wasn't as eventful as the first, and finally saw out the game and it ended 3 0. Galacticos didn't get going and rarely troubled goalkeeper Mo Benale. This was just an off day for them, and after such a good run they've been on, I'm sure they'll be back next week. This was the first game this season they failed to score as well. This was a great performance from Finest, who were under a lot of pressure to win. If they'd lost, then goal tier would have been impossible, but now they're well in with a chance. We spoke to two happy players after the game. Well, clean sheet, you happy with that? Well, absolutely buzzing, fantastic. Yeah, this team, um, fantastic uh, performance a, all around. There was a three, three, three fantastic goals, yeah. Finest um, have been on a really bad run at the moment, losing yeah. four in the trot. How important was this victory? Very important because we want to be in them. We know there's only six places in that goal team. We know that the quality we've got, players have won league titles and cups and we know the quality we've got. We have to finish in them goal tiers at least. Like Aki said, we've got no expect expectations, but anything other than goal tier, I feel, will be a disappointing season. If we get goal tier, then maybe aim higher in the league, hopefully. But yeah, alhamdulillah, three, fanta three fantastic goals. What was your two goals? Um, I just, you know what, it came, I'm never sure. Because they were like really goals. quick, weren't they? Like, yeah, yeah, after a minute. Ball. Yeah. Sure. Um, it was a good team move actually, and he pulled it back. I was waiting for ages, edge of the box, hit it first time, and it just killed him. Uh, Reminded just... me a bit of a Herrera goal, Herrera um, goal in the Premier League when he just side foots it in, that's what I did. Oh, right. And second one, to honestly, it was a bit of a look. I, I went to my left, uh, I kind of bit towed it, and it kind of went past the goalie. So. Were yeah. you disappointed that you didn't get your hat trick, or are you not too bothered? Um, team won, that's the main thing. We've not won after, what, four games, so. It was good to get in winning ways. I think maybe Jabba coming back was a, a big help to defence as well. And uh, everyone looks a bit more confident today, so that's good. Well, I was just speaking to the goalie and I said, you know, you've been on a bad run now. How important was it to get the win today? Mm. How, how important was yeah, it? Yeah, it was very important. Like I said to you, after four games, defeat, um, coming back, Dream Team uh, put us to the sword last week. Um, so hopefully with a 3-0, uh, we'll be back in it. Onwards and upwards, hopefully. Yeah, inshallah. well done. All right. Well played. Next up, we have Touch of Class and Sharpshooters. This was an incredible game, with Touch of Class winning 11-0. Although we didn't get all the goals in this game, we got most of them, so sit back and enjoy this masterclass from Touch of Class.
game ended 11-0, and what a way to win your first game in the league this season. This win has rocketed Touch of Class up to the league to ninth position, as all their direct rivals lost. Sharpshooters had a few plays missing today which didn't help them. They'll be hoping to get back next week for sure, as they've been dragged into a relegation battle now. Underdogs and Average Moles next, and both these teams are in the goal tier, but are fighting it out for top spot. Average Moles demolished Cosmos last week, while Underdogs were frustrated by a touch of class in a 0-0 draw. Underdogs started the game well, and took the lead early on when Ali Shanan beat Joe, and it was a relief for Underdogs to get a goal early on which helped them control the game. It got better for underdogs when Sohil poked home and made it 2-0. Ali Majidi then made it 3-0 in the second half and it was game over. <laughs> Underdogs made it look easy today against one of their main title rivals and will be happy with a clean sheet too, meaning that they now have the best defensive record in the league. Average Moles gave it a go but will be disappointed they didn't create more chances. They have now slipped to fourth in the table. Next match is Gladiators and Cosmos. This game ended 9-1 to Gladiators and from what I hear it could have been 21. Gladiators just took Cosmos apart, who did have plays missing but are low in confidence and this will not do them any good. The attacking force of Gladiators is currently the best in the league and they have so many different options. Here's all the goals, some excellent goals in here so sit back and enjoy.
just saw a brilliant team performance by Gladiators, who now have climbed up to third spot in the league and are the league's top goal scorers. Cosmos are the only team in the league now not to win a game and have slipped to 11th in the league. Last week, Captain Bilal said they were in a relegation battle and now they most definitely are. Last game of the night and it was Dream Team and never losing. Dream Team could go top of the league if they won today and they have Bobby back this week as well. Never losing, we'll try and get something out of the game. Dream Team started well and Aussie scored a screamer which no doubt will feature in April's goal of the month. A great start for Dream Team got even better when a great team move ended with Moen chipping the goalkeeper from five yards out. and it was 3-0 when Hasib found himself in the right place at the right time. Hasib has been playing really well the past few weeks and has finally decided to swap his yellow and red cards for goals. Good move Hasib, keep up the good work. Ibi managed to get a goal back for never losing and they did have a few good chances after they scored but couldn't get another. Hasib killed the game when he scored his second, which caught the goalie and Hasib by surprise. Main man Bobby was back doing what he does best and scored on his comeback. Dream team are now top of the table and will be one of the teams fighting for the league. Not many teams are playing as well as Dream Team and they look good in each department. Nevolution didn't actually play too bad today and at one stage could have got another goal. They'll take the positives away from this game and hope they can get some valuable points in the next two weeks. That's week 9 done and I'm sure you enjoyed the highlights this week. Two very important weeks to come now and there are four teams fighting for the last two goal tier places. The league tables will be updated and posted on the website, so keep checking. Here are the classified results for both divisions.